everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name's Ivy, and today I have decided to go to an all you can eat sushi and barbecue located in downtown Vancouver. This place is going to be called Shabusin Yakiniku House. If you want to continue watching this video, please stay tuned. <laughs> To find a parking spot near the restaurant, you can make a turn to the alley and into the tunnel on the left side. Around 6 p.m., the parking is $10 for the whole night until 11 p.m. After finding a parking spot, I am now going towards the restaurant which is close by Coach and after Coach, you'll see the restaurant right ahead of us. I arrived at Shabusin Yakiniku House. The sign even displayed a menu for lunch and dinner. Details of the prices will be different on weekdays, weekends, and holidays. If you want to make a reservation for more than three people, you can call 604-669-3883. Here is a closer look of the menu. The all-you-can-eat lunch starts at 11 a.m. to 2.15 p.m. And for dinner, it starts at 5 p.m. to 10.15 p.m. There will be additional charge if you want to include a barbecue option as displayed. I decided to go for $41.95 per person that includes sushi and barbecue as it's the most popular option for everyone. To get to the restaurant, you need to take the stairs and on to the right. I have arrived at the restaurant and there is plenty of people inside. Here, I will be showing you the menu. Let's take a zoom further and see what the restaurant has to offer. There's a choice of sashimi, nigiri sushi, tamaki kon, and maki roll. The middle part of the menu shows the kitchen, ranging from tofu to fried rice. Please remember not to waste food or additional charges will apply when doing so. Also, you cannot share it to someone else's table and no takeout. On the top right, there is a Korean barbecue and appetizers options. Again, the menu shows the details of the prices at specific days and time. On a separate menu, there are different options of drinks to add on, which are soju, wines, and beers. If you choose not to drink alcohol for the whole entire night, they have non-alcoholic beverages. To order food, they provided a piece of paper to write down what you wanted to order. I like to start off eating light on the first round, so I decide to order sushi, gyoza, and a few barbecue dishes. First items I received were mussels and shrimps. Take note that we need to heat the grill first before putting the food in and afterwards we cook them. Later on, the server just gave us the barbecue beef short ribs and barbecue spicy lamb chops. I'm putting in the short ribs and the lamb chops together on the grill. Try not to leave the food in one place or it will stick on the grill and remember to consistently flip it for a few minutes. Here 
is a plate of different sushis. From the bottom is salmon sushi all the way to hamachi sushi, Thai sushi, hokkaido sushi, taco sushi, toro sushi, and lastly tuna sushi. Over to the top is the spicy gyoza. Going further is salmon sashimi, tuna sashimi, and spicy seafood sashimi. Here is the regular gyoza. It's time for me to eat. I'm taking a bite of the barbecue short ribs, and it tasted very tender, juicy, and had a rich flavor. We are now starting the second round. Here is the tonkatsu and miso soup. Then comes the spicy salmon roll, Alaska roll, spicy tuna roll, and salmon roll. After that, we have the chopped scallop cone alongside more salmon and tuna sashimi. Here is what it looks like on the inside of the chopped scallop cone. The salmon teriyaki arrived. Along with a deep fried gyoza and yam tempura to complete the second round. Here I am taking the bite of the deep fried gyoza, and it was super crispy. To complete the night, I ordered their famous coffee Jello. If you are a coffee person, I would definitely recommend getting it because it has a nice, creamy texture with the milk added. The restaurant is located in downtown Vancouver near Alberni Street and the intersection of Burrard and Robson Street. The restaurant is called Shabusin Yakiniku House and the address is stated below. This is the end of the video. If you enjoy the content and want to see more in the future, please give a like and subscribe with notifications on. See you next time. Bye!